brain Don't say we can't or just don't say another word These thoughts you've imagined All right, what is up? Today is day 11 of the series. That's absolutely crazy. But uh, today I actually woke up 184.5. So I'm dropping down in weight and it's visibly showing and I can obviously see on the scale. But it's a bit strange. I talked about this in a past video, but to go from 220 to 185, like I, I was bulking for like three years. So I've always had a heavier, you know, in my mind, I've always had a heavier body fat percentage. So to be dropping, it's kind of a mental barrier to get across because this whole time I've been bulking, trying to get to a high number like 220. And now I'm dropping and now I'm at the lowest I've ever been since like senior year of high school or like, you know, junior year of high school, 185s, 183s. That's what I used to wrestle at. So it's a bit uh, challenging mentally to try to get that across. But at the same time, I know I'm going to be absolutely shredded. I'm going to look crazy once I get to where I want. So that's a positive, you know, I just have to look at the bright side. Besides that, I feel pretty good. I uh, upped the carbs a little bit yesterday just to get some more energy. I was... I, okay. You know when you cut and you feel kind of off, you just need more carbs or fat. It just fix up your diet. Realistically, that's what it is. So we're gonna try to we're gonna try to just uh, keep everything aligned with our goals and what we need, and just figure out and uh, try to feel it by by you know by how we feel. That's how I like to do my diets. If I feel good, I can push a little bit more. So that's what I'm gonna do. But if I feel bad, I'm gonna up the you know up the calories a little bit. Just make sure that I'm feeling good, and that's gonna be my main priority. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and start getting the food ready. I'm going to go ahead and get ready. And I also have to edit the other video. So I'll see you guys uh, in an hour or two. <laughs> All right, the breakfast is done. I've had the same breakfast this entire prep. And then genuinely, I do not get tired of it. Like people get tired of eating the same thing every day, but I don't. I genuinely could eat my, it's like three eggs, a cup of uh, egg whites, um, a cup and a half of oatmeal with protein powder. It is my favorite thing in the world. I'm gonna go ahead and devour this really quickly and then I'm gonna go get started on editing the video. So you guys will probably see me in an hour or two. But uh, yeah, we're gonna get this day started and uh, try to finish off strong with editing. <clears throat> oh man, I can't see. Jeez. Need to wash my car. Anyways, we finished up editing the video. Oh my God, it's bright. We finished up editing the video. We uh, got changed, we ate some food and I am ready to go. Go ahead and get these little puppies out. Pandora, Athena. Get some food real quick. It's actually a bit hot today, which is weird. Which is nice. Usually, it's like 50 degrees outside, but it's like 70 right now. That's a good change. Let's go ahead and get to the car. With today being chest and back, I might um, start off with back today, which is a bit strange. I usually go, you know, chest, back, chest, back, and go back and forth. But uh, might as well just change it up. I think I might hit some um, lap pull downs, of course, first. I always start off with lap pull downs for back and then also chest flies for chest. Just for pre-exhaustion, get some blood flow in there before I do any like lifting or anything like that for these specific muscles. But let's go ahead and mo get moving. I also have to get gas. I have to go to the store. I almost forgot about that. I have to go to the store, Walmart, pick up some yogurts. So I'll probably show that as well. But uh, yeah, let's get moving. I'll see you guys at the gym. All right, we just got to the gym. And honestly, I have never felt the effects of beta alanine for my pre-workout like I do right now. I feel my t my skin is like all tingly and it feels like there's something under my skin, which is very strange. I've never felt this. And usually I, I, I'm, I do encourage beta alanine just because of the benefits, but it feels so strange right now that it's kind of like, what the hell? But yeah, anyway, oh, it smells like cologne in here. Anyways, with the, um, with the chest workout today and the back workout, I'm also going to be including some, I don't know if I want to include dumbbell or uh, barbell work and do some actual bench. I think I'm going to start that power building program next week, as I said in the last video. That's going to be pretty exciting. I might take it very, very slow, just considering I haven't power lifted or done any compound movements in over, I'd say over a year or two. It's been that long. Uh, if you guys didn't know, I used to power lift, um, obviously not competition, but I used to, that was my main, uh, my main gig, like I was always a powerlifter. I didn't care about bodybuilding. I didn't care about muscle. And then after my um, injury, which I kind of herniated a disc or popped it out of place, and you know that never was the same. I kind of stopped for a while. 
until now. And now I just kind of want to get back into it once I heal completely. But we'll see how that goes. With the workout today, it should be good. It should be smooth. Hopefully there's not too many people in there. But we'll have to see. I'll see you guys in a second once I get everything set up. And uh, I'll be right back. Qu'est-ce qui m'arrive Qu'est-ce que je représente Qui je suis putain Va falloir que je me lève. Que je recommence à zéro. All right, so overall the gym was pretty good. Honestly, the pump wasn't as good as I thought it would be. It was pretty flat, like I, I, I don't have that much vascularity right now. Like I do, but the pump isn't there, if you know what I mean. Even though I'm taking pump product, I think it's due in part to my carb and how low of an intake I'm taking currently. So I'm gonna have to change that up and see how I feel uh, tomorrow and uh, I'll just adjust daily. Overall, I'm feeling pretty good outside of the gym. I think the only issues I'm having are inside of the gym once I have my uh, pump and everything is ready to go i'm feeling the low calorie intake i'm feeling the low fat the low carbs everything and it's affecting me not mentally but physically i'm a bit weaker than usual but you know it's fine that's what you can uh, pretty much expect from a, a cut like this one especially how severe it is anyways i'm gonna go ahead and head to ups i'm gonna return some items then to walmart and then i need to go get gas so i'll probably take you along for the uh, ups and the walmart trip i'll be back in a second All right, so at the time of recording, this is actually the next day. I kind of uh, knocked out. I finished some homework, you know, played a couple games, and I forgot to completely forgot. Uh, whoa, I completely forgot to record the outro. So that's pretty much what I'm doing right now. The day overall was pretty good. Um, I did accomplish a lot, but um, I still need to do a couple more things today. Um, I have to go to the store and pick up a couple things for my uh, camera, but that's not going to be too much of an issue, hopefully. I ordered it and it should be there to, for pickup later today around 3ish and we'll see how that goes but uh, yeah overall a great workout honestly a great day in general I'm gonna also get to edit this video that you're watching right now today so the next day and yeah I'll see you guys later so you have a good one <laughs> 